Good afternoon. Hello, dear traders. Welcome to InstaForex TV studio. And here is the latest economic news with me, Marina Generalova. And me, Anna Kasatkina. You are watching the combined review on the currency and commodity markets for the last week. So what trends dominated on Forex? On Friday, the US dollar exchange rate strengthened considerably versus its major counterparts. What excited interest to the US currency among the traders? Undoubtedly, that was the employment rate in the United States. The U.S. employer said at 175,000 jobs in February. The jobless rate ticked up to 6.7% from 6.6% at that. The economists had expected an increase of 140,000 positions. Besides, there was an upward revision of 25,000 to overall payrolls in December and January. Such a positive data amid the weak statistics which had been released later upon the Fed's action. The regulator in its turn is closely watching the economic news, especially the figures from the U.S. labor market, to realign the stimulus adequately. It is known that the QE weakened the U.S. currency. On Friday, Euro-US dollar came in at $1.38.73, compared to $1.38.65 on Thursday, the euro hit more than a two-year high. Previously, the single currency has risen to the level of $1.39 for the first time since October 28, 2011. On Thursday, the ECB's decision on keeping the key interest rate unchanged supported the euro. Moreover, Mario Draghi stated that the regulator is not going to ease its monetary policy in the near term. Meanwhile, U.S. Canadian dollar pair climbed to $1.10.88 Canadian cents from the previous session's level of $1.9.91 Canadian cent. The Canada's economy lost 7,000 jobs last month, triggering such a slump of the Canadian dollar. That is all on the Forex trends right now. Thank you for the overview on the currency dynamics, Marina. You're welcome, Anna. And what was the investors' reaction to the improvement in the U.S. labor market? Oil was strengthening, while gold, on the contrary, was losing positions as the investors were selling out the gold assets. On Friday, the oil futures rose in price amid the promising news from the U.S. labor market. However, the futures were trading flat due to the unrest in Ukraine this week. The April WTI futures inched by 1% up to the level of $102.58 per barrel in the New York session. The further price growth was restrained by the U.S. dollar increase. The brand futures for April delivery moved up by 0.8% to $109 per barrel. The brand oil lost 0.1% for the week. In Friday's session, the gold futures slid by 1% on COMEX. The improvement in the U.S. labor market made this precious metal less attractive to the investors. The gold futures for April delivery dropped by $13.60 or 1% to the level of $1,338.20 per troy ounce. Before the report was released, gold had been trading at $1,351. The metal lost about 1.3% for the week. Anna, thank you for the overview on the commodity market. You're welcome, Marina. You are watching the weekly review on the currency and commodity markets prepared by InstaForex. And presented to you by Anna Kasatkina and Marina Generalova. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye.